Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, I'm taking you back to the Cargo Connect table for the last two missions here. So they're gonna be missions number 15 and 16, Load Cargo and Cargo Connect. So if you have missed all of the other missions, my goal here is to show you what the rules are for the points so you can know what to get and then a, an example of how to get those points. So hopefully you have joined me for those first 14 missions. If you have not, check them down in the description. I've left you a link to all of them. But today it's just going to be 15 and 16. So if you want to see that, stay with me. He now Lego Robotics. Oh yeah. Okay guys, so missions 15 and 16, Load Cargo and Cargo Connect. What you do with those missions is going to depend greatly on your cargo containers. And I'm going to take you to the table to show you which ones you already have and which ones you can get and what you can do with those points and how to get them. So let's go to the table. Okay, so for mission 15, it's going to be load cargo. So this only has to do with transportation vehicles. So we have the truck, the platooning truck, the cargo ship, and... The train. Those are the only vehicles involved in mission number 15 here. So if we're taking a look at the platooning trucks, you can only put two, let me hinge these here, you can only put two containers max into the platooning trucks and those are 10 points a piece. To be honest with you, I would not do this just because you can get 10 points um, and I'll talk about mission 16 in a second for cargo connect you could put these cargo containers into a circle for 10 so why you would make life difficult and get and put these into the trucks I don't know but that's just my opinion for that now let's go to the train because that would be the next one in points so again for the train same thing two containers max, but now they're bumping this up to 20 points. 20 points a container, so this could be worth 40 points if you could put both of those into the train. Do I think that's worth it? It's kind of far um, to put those in. It's a very risky mission. And to be honest with you, and in mission number 16, I can put three cargo containers into that circle which is awfully close to the launching area for 30 points so again it's something you talk over with your team and ask yourself is the points worth the risk what do we do and then the last part here is going to be your cargo ship here which this is going to be very difficult to do balancing two of and now you can put a maximum of two containers on this cargo ship it's going to be the swinging platform right there. That's going to be worth 30 points a container. So that would be 60 points right there. Is that worth it? Yes, if you guys can figure out a way to balance that. This is very unstable. Any little, you know, any little movement can make that thing slide off. So I would say if you have a foolproof way to get that, so those 60 points or just 30 points if you're getting one of them, I'd say it's worth it if you can, you know, consistently get that. Okay, for this one, we're gonna just head to this platooning truck right here. Put this gray cargo container in there for 10 points. So let's check that out. Okay, and we got that into the platooning truck. Yeah, I'll take that. So that's 40 points right there.
And that's what we want. 40 points. Sorry, that's 20 points. My bad. Okay, so everybody, here's the plan. I have the media motor attachment that I've used for the other missions. I have the gray cargo container and we're going big points. We're going to take this over to the west platform of the cargo ship. The tough thing is going to be that this thing does swing. So that makes this really tough, but that's why they give you guys the big points. So we're ready to check that out. Come on, get it under the balance. Yes! Okay, I did check the rolls and it says that the container can be touching those gray ends of the deck. So that is for 30 points. Okay, let's talk about now mission number 16, your cargo connect. So let's see if we can simplify this because in the rules it looks a little head spinning, but eh, it's, it's simplified. If you can put any container completely in a, any circle, that's going to be worth 10. Now, we'll talk about the colors in a second, uh, but completely in 10, if you're partially in, that would be worth 5. So this is what I was talking about before. If you can put three of them in like that, that's going to be worth 30 points. So I would highly suggest doing that as opposed to putting them into the platooning trucks or the train. Again, if you can put them on that swinging platform I'd rather get the 60 than the 30 on this one here so again strategize with your team on that one now if we're talking about the colored ones here if you put this blue into that circle that's going to be worth 20 and if you put this lime green into that green circle that'll be worth 20 um, and then you have this orange one here which you can use. There is no orange circle here, so you would just put this, if you wanted to, again, for 10 or partially in for five. So this, this mission I like because it forces your team to really strategize where do we put these containers for the most points. So you've heard my opinion on you know what's risky and what's not. But you know, you are, you and your team need to strategize on what is risky. Um, to be honest, again, obviously this circle is the less riskier one. Uh, putting them on that platform is more risky. But if you guys can figure out a way, which I'd love to see um, this done in a less risky way, um, that would be worth it to, to go to that platform. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what some of these missions would look like with your robot. Okay guys, so because we got the blue container back, now we can push this into uh, many other circles for points, but we're going to go ahead and put it into that blue circle for 20 points. So let's check that out. Okay, so that'll be worth 20 if it can be completely in the circle. And we're good. So now we can, let's get that green container and let's go ahead now and put it into that circle. Okay guys, so same thing with the lime green container. If you can get that home, why not put it into that green circle for the 20 points? So let's check that out.
and that'll be worth 20 points. Okay guys, so there you go, 15 and 16. So you have to be real wise what you do with those containers because the difference in points can, can vary pretty greatly and you might have to decide as a team what's risky, what is a sure thing because you know you want to make sure you get the points but not risk a lot of you know getting smaller points because you try to risk your thing i don't know it's up to you on your team how much of a risk does your team want to take how sure and confident are you guys okay so again one through 14 check the description i've left you the link to all of those previous missions and no just because i'm done doesn't isn't mean i'm going to stop doing cargo connect videos because I know a lot of your teams, rookie teams, coaches want to know about team, you know, teamwork strategy, core values, your research project. So there's so much more to Cargo Connect that I'm going to be bringing to you guys in the next few weeks. OK, so I hope you guys are still having fun. I hope you guys are going to be able to meet somehow in person, um, maybe some type of hybrid model for your competition. Um, for us, it's not going to be the same as it was before where it was all in person. We're either going to have to do a hybrid model where some of it's video, some of it's in person. Some teams are actually going to be doing a remote competition. So it's not like it was going to be before and it's not as fun. I mean, I, you know, for some of your teams that maybe don't know any different, this can still be fun. But I'm waiting for the day that we can still go back in person the way it was because that was just so much fun to see all those teams there and all the students and coaches and parents and volunteers. It was amazing. Okay, guys, so continue to just be awesome with your Cargo Connect season. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.